we don't want that flag, we don't want the anthem, we don't want this political class, we want the whole thing consigned to the dustbin of history. And now for the EFD group, Mr Farage. Well, congratulations, everybody. David Cameron had you worried for a bit. You thought he was even a Eurosceptic, but it's OK. You've had a quiet word with him, and the real David Cameron was back. Uh, whatever happened to the veto? No more vetoes anymore. Indeed, Mr Cameron is now actively supporting this quite despicable pact, this plan to destroy and humiliate nation-states that, that do not live up to a Germanic view of how economies ought to be run. Now, I must say, I thought the weekend's proposals from the German finance ministry that came out, suggesting that a European commissioner and his staff occupy a big building in Athens and take over the running of the country, a gauleiter, uh, some may say, I thought it must be a joke. I thought it can't, I mean, no, possibly even this EU could not sink to those depths. But of course, it was just a negotiating position. And what we've now got for Greece is diplomacy at gunpoint. It's the kind of strategy that Palmerston used against Athens back in the 19th century. Nobody can deny today that Greece is any more than a colony. And this is all a terrible, huge mistake. Greece is not a failing subsidiary company where head office needs to come in and take control. Greece is a nation with a soul, a nation with pride, with history. Goodness me, they invented democracy in the first place. They are suffering. They have youth unemployment of 50% caused, Mr Van Rompuy, because they're in the Euro. You are causing the misery in these countries and you blather on about creating jobs and growth. None of this is actually going to happen. And remember, these people are being driven into humiliation and desperation. And desperate people do desperate things. And I am deeply fearful for what will happen in Greece if we continue with this mad course. And of course, as Mr Barroso knows, it's going to be Portugal next. Thank you. But Mr Farage, he, he talked about a Gaulite. Uh, as a German, I very much object to democratic Germany being put on the same footing as the Nazi Germany. And so I would like an apology from this gentleman. Nobody in Berlin uh, is sending Gauleiter anywhere in Europe. That is a speech full of hatred. This is incitement of hatred between European peoples. He should withdraw his words or you should ensure that this sort of thing is not, does not recur. Some might say, and indeed, the biggest selling Sunday newspaper in Britain used that word. And if you want to talk about hatred, just look at what this European project is doing. We have German newspapers slagging off the Italians for being cowards, slagging off the Greeks for being lazy and useless, and we have Italian and Greek newspapers depicting leading figures in Germany wearing Nazi uniforms. Surely the whole point is that this project that was designed to bring us all together in peace and harmony is actually ripping us apart and bringing back nationalisms. And if there was one country I really had a go at in my speech, it was actually the United Kingdom, because I admitted the way we behaved towards Greece wasn't acceptable in the 19th century. We don't want that flag. We don't want the anthem. We don't want this political class. We want the whole thing consigned to the dustbin of history.